So I bought the $400 Cal Kestis limited edition lightsaber at Galaxy's Edge on May the 4th. And this is that unboxing video. We're gonna see the lightsaber. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. But first, here's the quick backstory of how I acquired this Cal Kestis lightsaber. So there were 7,500 of them made total. That inventory got split between Batu West in California, Batu East in Orlando, which is where I picked mine up. And there was a drop on Shop Disney as well. I got to the park a bit late that day. The park had already been open for two to three hours. As I was walking in Galaxy's Edge, I could see people wheeling these giant boxes out. You know those two kid strollers where there's two seats? There'd be one box on each of the seats and people would be wheeling these out and I would just like be walking there and like, oh, everyone's buying them. I think the limit was like two per person. But obviously if you and your significant other or your friend are there, that's four lightsabers just for the two of you. And people were wheeling them out obviously because these boxes were so big and so heavy that it didn't make sense for anybody to carry them around. So people were walking them out to their cars to either drive home that was maybe their mission for the day was to get some limited edition may the fourth stuff at the park and that was the only reason they were there or they're going to drop them off to come back have their day at the park and this was my first may the fourth at the park orlando doesn't do as much cool things as california does for may the fourth like california has this like fireworks show with music and like all these cool characters and this after hours event where people met Anakin and Padme, like very unusual characters to meet at the park. Because as you know, really the only characters we get at the park are like sequel characters like Rey and Chewbacca and people in the timeline that, you know, Disney has produced for. But people in California were getting to meet episode three, Anakin and Queen Hamidala. It was crazy. I'm so jealous that they get all that. But anyway, Orlando is so cool. It was cool to see everyone get even more dressed up. I took some pictures of some cool cosplays that I saw. This couple had these really cool Spectre jackets that like lit up. And this other guy was dressed up as Cal Kestis and had like the little BD1 droid. It was really cool. And then of course at night was the lightsaber meetup, which is basically when Everyone, you know, has their lightsabers simultaneously, lights their lightsaber, and it looks cool. I feel like I'm kind of going off on a tangent, so let me get back to the story of the actual lightsaber. So I got there, I was like, oh, there's not going to be any left. When I went to Doc Ondar, there was actually a virtual waiting list that I talked to a cast member. They got me on the waiting list. They said, come back when you get a text. I was like, okay. The online drop was coming up. So I was like, you know what? Maybe if I can get the online drop, then it'll ship to my house. I don't have to worry about wheeling this out to my friend's car. I was on time and immediately went into that virtual queue and waited for it to count down for it to be my turn because that's what they do. So if you do do that next May the 4th, I do recommend getting to the website early because you're standing in line depends on how early you got to the site. So if there's a drop at noon, don't get on the website right at noon because you're going to be low on the waiting list. Try to get there like, I don't know, 30 minutes early. By the time I got into the store, Cal Lightsaber was sold out. So I was like, okay, obviously I'm not going to go to California. I missed the online drop. So my only chance is to get this here in Orlando. And I was able to get it when I went into Doc Gondar. And yeah, I spent $400 on it. It's my first legally, my first legacy lightsaber. Um, I've never owned a legacy lightsaber from Disney before. So it's a cool lightsaber. I wanted to get it not just because it was limited release. And I was like, oh, well, not many people are going to have it. Obviously, it's cool to have collectibles like that and everything. But the real reason I wanted it was because... I played Fallen Order, as many of you know. A lot of you guys tuned in for my live stream, which obviously I love that you did that. I'm super grateful that people were playing this game alongside with me for the very first time. And I said this a lot as I played. I'm not a gamer. I haven't played that many games. I've played Lego Star Wars and maybe a handful of other games. So getting through this game that I was initially very intimidated by. I didn't know if I was gonna like it, if it was gonna be too complicated for me. Getting through the game was like a huge accomplishment for me. At least I think so. <laughs> and I was really happy when the game was done. So I have this like sentimental, emotional attachment to the game. I know a lot of people think it's not that great. 
and are like, oh, there's better games out there. I'm sure there are, but I haven't played them. So for me, Fallen Order is special. I love BD1. I really like Cal's character. I thought the whole thing with like Trilla and Seer and Marin, I thought all that was really cool. I do interact with the live chat as I play. It's actually my favorite part of playing the games is like when something funny happens and we're talking about it in the live chat and we get to laugh about it together. Anyway, <laughs> that's the story of how I got the lightsaber. So I think that's it. I think that's everything. Yeah, let's go and look at it. I'm excited to finally see it. So here's what the inside looks like. The design looks like like the home screen, the menu screen of the game and you know, the little circles as it's loading. So yeah, let's take it out of here. <laughs> and when I say this thing is heavy, it is so heavy. Like, I think this might be a wooden box. Yeah. So obviously the $400 did not include sales tax. So really this was $435 and I could not use my Disney annual pass holder discount. Aww. So no discount whatsoever of any kind. So it was straight up $435, which is so expensive, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to get it. Like I said, the game means a lot to me. Obviously if I'd never played the game, I never would have bothered to get this so this thing is so heavy it's hard to even get this plastic off Whew, okay so plastic is gone so this is a very heavy duty box i'm gonna move my microphone so it's got the jedi symbol there at the front and like i said that kind of circular design from the loading screen and it's got some arabesque on the sides See, ah, <laughs> I just pulled forward, it's so heavy. I really hope it plays music like the episode three Anakin Obi-Wan limited edition box did. So let's find out. It opens from the side here. This comes out, so. Oof, okay, so this whole thing comes out, like I said. Ooh, how did I manage this? Somehow I got number 32 of 7,500. I wasn't expecting 32. So it says Kyle Kestis customized a lightsaber hilt, uh, 32 of 7,500. And then it has this quote from the game. Having a lightsaber isn't what makes you a Jedi. We were peacekeepers. We were betrayed by those we protected, hunted down by the empire. I might be one of the last of my kind, Kyle Kestis. Let's go ahead and take off the soft foam. Oh my gosh. And this is the first ever lightsaber unboxing on my channel. So I'm actually really glad it's this one. This is crazy. No wonder it's so heavy. Oof, that's so heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna move the box and then we can look at the lightsaber more closely. So. I honestly don't know how this works. Like the process of swinging this around seems so like, <laughs> it seems so difficult to do because of how heavy it is. And this is without the actual blade. So I really like the leather detail and it looks like the leather detail has some like holes for what I'm guessing is like the lightsaber sounds. I wonder where the kyber crystal goes. And which of these is the lightsaber switch? Uh, this comes apart. That's where the battery goes. Batteries are included. So you pay $400, but you get the batteries. <laughs> it's obviously worth it. Okay, so the switch is actually here. And then this is a button right here. Hold button five seconds for blade color to change. Okay, so I guess there is no kyber crystal that goes into this. I think, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm borrowing this blade from my brother super quick. He had a legacy lightsaber lying around. Okay. So I guess we can light it now. Should I turn off the light so it looks cooler? Let's see, this thing, I can't get over how ginormous this thing is, but okay. Push the button. 
Which button? Ah! <laughs> Let's try the color change. So it's not changing colors. Yeah, that's weird. It's not changing colors. I'm pressing it for five seconds, but... So cool! <laughs> it's my first lightsaber! That's awesome! Here, I'm gonna turn off this light, too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to practice the actual spinning. I have no experience. <laughs> I'd say it's probably not the most beginner friendly because of just how massive it is, but it looks so cool at ignition. Look, watch this, watch this. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I wish it changed colors though. I don't know why the color change doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be able to change colors, but for some reason it can't. <laughs> Comment below, should I actually use this for spinning practice or should I save this as a shelf only item? Obviously I bought it and I want to use it, but it's so, it's so expensive and limited edition that I wonder if it should just sit on the shelf you know, forever and ever and not use it. Because if I start to spin it, obviously I'm gonna to start to drop it. It's gonna get scuffed, it's gonna get scratched. And I don't know, the value goes down, I guess. But let me know what you think I should do. Should I use it or no? But yeah, that's the saber. I'll show you the individual parts if you'd like. So this is all one piece. This does not come apart. And then in here is the battery pack as well as what probably makes the sound. We didn't get music in the box, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping for music, but oh well. And then this part comes apart. Then we have another battery pack. And then I think this is all just one piece. And I believe, yeah, so it is a dual saber. So a lightsaber goes in this end too, which is just crazy to me because it's so massive with like just one blade. Imagine like two. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know about the practicalities of spinning that, but maybe you can you can like start to do like this kind of stuff more so than actually spinning it. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna see if I can manage to piece this back together. I should have probably mentioned this sooner because you know I've shown you guys a lightsaber. People are probably clicking off this video now. But I did start my profile on buymeacoffee.com. Obviously, in case you guys don't know, this channel doesn't actually make any money. <laughs> you need a thousand subscribers and like four thousand watch hours to start monetizing your YouTube channel. And you know, I'm not there, obviously, as you can see. But you know, if you guys want to support the channel and you have appreciated the content this whole time and the live streams and you've enjoyed the community. I'll leave the link in the description. I probably won't mention it every video, but um, just so you guys know that is there. Obviously, totally optional. Do not feel obligated to. This content is free and I super enjoy doing it. I super enjoy my collection and yeah, so totally optional. And a few people have asked me about a donate button and I have to be like, I don't have one because YouTube doesn't actually enable that until you are monetized. So yeah, that's down there if you want. And if you don't, don't worry about it. The content will still be here. We'll still be live streaming and we're still gonna have a lot of fun. So yeah, comment down below what you thought of the Cal Kestis lightsaber. I'm interested to see what you guys think. I'm always scrambling at the last minute, like, did I forget something? But no, I think that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed the lightsaber. Let me know if you were also able to get one. And I hope you all had a great May the 4th. I know that was super long ago by now, but um, yeah. Well, God bless you guys and I'll see you soon.